If you're wondering why there's been so much high water lately, experts say there are several factors at play. The lieutenant governor addressed it at a press conference in Mankato today. I think water is a powerful force. I think climate change is real uh, and we are um, experiencing the impacts of it here in, in Minnesota all across the state. Next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso explains other factors for the flooding. How quickly we went from extreme drought to extreme flooding. This month alone, parts of the state have seen upwards of a foot of rain. Ironically, we kind of break droughts with really wet years after them. This has happened a few times in, in our history. MDNR climatologist Pete Boulay says our drought pattern ended back in March, and we've seen above average rainfall each month since. April, May, and then June especially, and it just kept adding up, adding up, adding up, and then uh, Eventually, we saturated the soils and the water has nowhere else to go, so it goes into lakes and rivers. With the ground waterlogged, our most recent weather pattern was a recipe for disaster. The state's been on, on the dividing line between really hot, steamy air to our south and east and then cooler air up to the north in Canada. The fronts have been kind of right across Minnesota, kind of the dividing line there. And as our atmosphere continues to warm, that means it can hold more moisture. A one degree increase equates to 4% more water vapor. And that can mean more intense rainfall in the future. Part of it is also we're right in the middle of the continent, very far away from any oceans. So we are the land of extremes here in Minnesota, just to begin with. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News.